John McCusker at Fitzpatrick Fuels here on the border with uh, Calvin uh, the Monaghan for Manor border and uh, we're here in uh, the north of Ireland uh, the six counties and just across the street is the Republic of Ireland the 26 counties of Ireland and uh, basically uh, at the moment all of us are involved in the European Union, but after Brexit the situation will become uh, very complicated because all the, the goods are going to have to be manifested on uh, customs declarations for, for crossing the border either way if a hard border uh, uh, comes into force and also a you know, there are other difficulties, uh, major political difficulties with, with uh, uh, taking that back in again, taking the, the hard border back in again. So, we, you know, you may have difficulties on the border. Uh, I wouldn't see, uh, I would think it, uh, it wouldn't follow through to history if there wasn't difficulties on the border. The, 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 uh, this shop wasn't here now 20 years ago, you know. Uh, so, so that needs to be said, but there were businesses on the border uh, like this all along, the, like there's 300, 300, 500 kilometers of, of border and uh, there would be lo lots of businesses along the border uh, and there would be, uh, they would have that type of a bent towards making money on the actual border because people trade either, either side, some items may be uh, less expensive on the northern side or less expensive on the southern side and people generally go for what's least expensive and that's where you get your, your border trade. That's why it's kind of ideal to have a, a, a shop right on the border. Well yeah. it is for a business person yeah but it's also an inconvenience to have a border at all uh, in such a small country you know. Why? Well for the very simple reason that uh, well, you, you go down into the core issues of, of, of the occupation of Ireland and uh, the troubles and the election of 1918 which asked the, the British to leave and they did not accept uh, th that the vote of the Irish people. Unlike the vote now where 52% say to leave the Euro European Union, but back in, in 1918 84% of the Irish people said to the British to leave but they remained, they partitioned our country. So perhaps Britain should be partitioned, let Scotland stay in Europe and, and, and let the six uh, counties stay in Europe. That, that's basically the, the scenario that we're facing, you know. So you're, you are kind of uh, a pro reunification of Ireland yourself? Or? I would indeed, yes. Yeah. But on a realistic point of view, how do you see the future? Uh, with the Brexit? Well, I, I, don't really, I, I don't really know how it's going to pan out. I do uh, have this feeling that uh, come the 11th hour there will either be an extension put on the, uh, on the talks or perhaps there will be uh, what I refer to as a sweetheart deal. Uh, in other words, that Britain will get uh, some form of a deal. Uh, which uh, you know, the, both will come to, come to an, an agreement. But from from Britain's point of view, they are uh, looking for to actually get a sweetheart deal, if you like. And I think that I think they may well pull it off. And if if it comes to to a hard border, I do see difficulty on the border. You know, what I, sort of well, I don't know. We just have to wait and see. But I would, I would suspect that uh, it will not pass. It will not pass peacefully by anyway.